guys, this is Shannon with Shannon McTy Photography. I just wanted to hop on and edit this photo with you with the Bohemian Rhapsody collection. This photo was taken in the Salt Flats in Utah, and I thought it would be a really fun one to edit. It's a little bit different. There's a lot of like white behind them, which is reflecting the light back up. So I just thought it'd be a good one to kind of see how I would edit. So with the Bohemian Rhapsody, I'm just going to start right at the top. I'm going to do the underexposed prep work, and I'm going to pick the one that matches the image the best. For this one, I'm going to do gentle light clean and hit play. And I love what it did. So I'm going to leave that one and just flatten it. The next one I'm going to do is I, I'm going to play another one on top of it. I'm going to do radiant light clean, and that's because I want a little more warmth to the photo. I won't leave it at 100%. I'm going to decrease the opacity of it and I will drop this down to about right there at 20% and that just gives it a little more warmth to the photo and I will flatten that. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to pop the subject. I think they could use a little more magenta on them so I'm going to click pop the subject magenta and see how that looks. And the reason I'm saying that is I'm just looking at their skin and I feel like they could use just a little a hint of magenta to the skin. And that looks good. I am going to lower the opacity to about 70% and flatten that. And then I'm just going to boost the background clean, which is going to be pretty subtle since the background is mostly white. And then I will flatten that. Once I have done that, I'm going to jump down to the one click color base section. Clarity, I use that on every image that I do. So I'm going to hit play. That's going to add some sharpening and a little bit of contrast to the subjects and to the image. And then I will flatten that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do subtle clean. This is also going to add a little more magenta to the photo. So I'll hit play. And I love that. That looks really good. I'm going to hit play again. I'm going to run it twice. Perfect. So then I will flatten that. And now I'm going to, to dodge and darken. This is my form of dodging and burning. It's like a painterly style of dodging and burning. So when you hit play on this, this is going to take your image and it's going to duplicate the image back on top of itself. So now everything's nice and rich and I can see exactly where my highlights are. I'm going to erase my highlights. I'm going to shape the light and I'm going to try to focus then on what I'm, I want them to see, which is the connection. I'm going to get a small brush, my opacity at 42%, hardness at zero, and I'm just going to start erasing the highlights and where I want my viewers to kind of look. So, and whether there there's highlights on their faces or not, that's part of the connection. So I'm going to be erasing some of their face, the highlights on their faces or the shadows. This little guy is shadowed out, so I'm going to erase him more. And then I'm just going to follow the highlights in her dress, follow the highlights in the shirt down the back of his pants, down the back of him, his arm, a little bit more on mom and little girl. What you'll notice is with the boys, I'm not erasing it off their hair, and that's because, just in my opinion, it starts to look like their hair is thinning if you do that when you lower the opacity, so I, I, I stay away from the hair. Perfect. So you can see all the brushwork in the bottom right corner right here. I'm going to grab my opacity and just so my eyes don't play tricks on me, I'm going to drop it to zero and then I'm going to pull it back up to where I like it, which I like it pretty strong on this image. And so I'll leave it at 77%. So this is before and this is after. I'll flatten that. Perfect. Then I'm going to jump all the way down to the artistic color grading. Whenever I have a lot of browns in my image, my favorite ones are polished copper, tarnished copper, and golden. For this one, I'm going to play tarnished copper, and I'm going to hit play. And this is going to put a little more orange into the photo. And I'm going to decrease the opacity probably to about 70%. And then I will right-click and flatten that. And then I'm going to play citrine matte, which is going to put a warm matte on the image. I use it very subtle. So I'm going to get a big brush up it to like 65% and I'm just going to erase it off my subjects. 
and then I'll lower the opacity of it down to like 55%. It's just meant to kind of get into the blacks in the background, just this warm matte. And then I will flatten that. Perfect. The next thing I want to do is take care of the blues on the ground right here. So I'm going to come up here to reduce blues and hit play. And I'm just going to erase it. Any of the blues that shouldn't be there. So right there. I will hit flatten. And then one of my favorite actions is simple color. This one, especially if I need a little more color to the image, I'll play that towards the end of my editing. And I'll hit play and this will give it a nice pop of color. So that's before and that's after. And then I'll lower it to about 55%. Flatten that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is halt the highlights. I'm going to hit play. And really, I just want to bring the highlights down on the sand. I could also do it on their skin if their skin got too bright. But that looks good to me. And then I'll flatten that. And then I want to add a little light over here to the left. So I'm going to go to Diffuse Sun and hit play. Continue. And I'm going to change the style to reflected. And you can move this dial right here to where you want it. So I'm going to go about right there and pull it up. I just want there to be a little bit of a pink glow on them. So I'll hit OK, but I don't want it at 95% opacity. So I'm going to drop it down quite a bit right there at 28%. I just want it to be a little touch of light. I will flatten that. Then I'm going to come down here to dramatic sky. I don't have like any crazy clouds in the sky in this image, but I do have like some white wispy clouds and a blue background. So I'm going to bring that out just a little bit so we have some color. I will get a smaller brush. I'm just going to kind of go like that. Nothing too dramatic. I'll get a black brush and make sure I didn't get too close to my subjects or on the mountain. I just want a little touch of light, like some color up there. And then I'll flatten that. The next thing I'm going to do is come down here and I'm going to play the pullback portraiture-ish. And this is to soften the image. Hit continue. Perfect. So now that that is on there, I'm just going to lower it a little bit to about 70% just so it's not too soft, but I like it a lot right there. And then I usually end my editing with neutral pop or one of the pops. Neutral pops kind of right down the middle. If I need more black, the dark drop is a really good one. I'm going to hit play and then I'm just going to lower the opacity of this one too. And then I'll show you the before. This is before and this is after and it just gives a nice shine to the photo. I think I'll lower it even a little bit more. And then I will flatten that. And so I, I look at this and I would call this done. I really like this image and I'm going to come all the way back to the top so you can see the before and after. So this is before. And this is after. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and thank you for having me here. If you have any other questions or you want to look anything up on Bohemian Rhapsody, please go to www.greaterthangodspeed.com.